today we're gonna do a set on our model showing exactly what our long stem pro fans can look like. So these are brand new. So a lot of people are wondering what is the difference between the long stem, the medium stem, and the short stem. And the main difference is that exactly that, the stem is much longer. So the application is much more like that of a classic. And so the result is, is really cool. It's an in-between a classic and a volume. So you're gonna get that darkness of a classic around the base, but the fluffiness of a volume around the top. So it's, it gives a really dark base and still a really fluffy volume look. And if you're familiar with making your own fans, I'm sure that you've made these long stem fans before while doing your own handmaids. And so we're used to using our short stem and these offer a more wider fan. So you're gonna get a lot more surface area covered, but a very fluffy result. So if you're someone who has a lot of clients who look for that dark base, you may really like our long stem fans. So it's really good to show just an example of what these look like when they're used totally by themselves so that you can get a visual for what you are gonna be using. So before we get started, I will let you know exactly what I'm using. So I'm working with our, like I said, our long stem pro fans and our mix tray from eight to 15. And I'm gonna work with our 5D pro fans only. Um, the reason why I'm working with 5D is because her natural lashes are very, very strong. So I wanna give an example of what the 5D long stem can look like. And I'll also work with my gold member isolation tweezers and our Gripopotamus Slim Boot Tweezer. These are my favorite, personally, my favorite tweezers. Um, my Grippo Slim Boot I use for making fans and my pro fans. So I find that the sweet spot's really good, so I have a lot of control while using this tweezer. Um, and then my Isolation Gold Member is tilted perfectly, so if I find it helps a lot with um, making my Isolation really easy. And then the glue I'm gonna be working with today is our Invisibond glue. And there's really no reason why I'm using this other than the fact that I kinda wanna work around with our clear glue. So I really like working with Invisibond when I'm working with colored lashes, um, but I just wanna show that you can use it for absolutely any set out there. It's very much like our um, sensitized glue when it comes to consistency. So if you love that one and you wanna work with a clear glue, this is a great option. So I've just drawn my mapping on and again, I'm working with more of a cat eye look. Um, I guess it could be called a squirrel look, but I'm using my longest lengths in here. So you see where I did my last point and where the eye, where the color of the eye actually ends here. And that's where I'm gonna start my longest length. And then where the eye appears to end with her eye open is where I start dropping down again in length. So I'm gonna use tens on those outer corners. And again, working with C-Curl um, 5D because she has crazy strong natural lashes and a lot of room to work with in here. So that's why I'm working with 12s and 13s in here because we really do have a lot of room and she has long natural lashes. So she's not gonna be unfamiliar to length. That's for sure. Um, so I'm gonna work back down all the way to seven on the inners and moving slowly into the rest of my lengths. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about quickly is my layers. So when you see that I wrote 12 and 13 here, that length is actually gonna be on my bottom layer. And what I consider the bottom layer to be is the layer that's closest to her eye. So I'm gonna actually bump down my lengths on the layer in the middle and the layer on the top. And that's only because I'm not trying to do a dramatic set. Had I put a 13 or a 12 on that top layer, um, it would look a little more dramatic. It would look more like a 15 because I'm working with about two millimeters of space between her lowest layer and her highest layer. So remember what I'm saying that. So when I'm working with 13 on my lowest light layer, I'm gonna be working with 11 on my top layer. Um, yeah, so just really bumping those down if you're going for uniformity, which is what I'm going for today. I'm going for a gradual cat eye, um, not a lot of um, texture throughout, kind of more of a uniform look, but um, all of my layers will have one to two millimeters drop down. So in my 11 millimeter, I'm gonna have my 11s on my bottom layer and then 10 on my middle layer and nine on my top layer. 
And then really I only have about one layer on these inner corners here. So we're gonna do just like sevens and eights. And if I do have a couple layers here, I'll put you know, seven below my eight and so on and so forth.